Oh, hi everybody. Hey, I've got a question for you. What do you get when you take a fantastic game-themed location and combine it with a bunch of really excited, passionate, learning, experienced developers? Well, I'll tell you, you get stepaway.design. We're here for a week talking about learning and experiencing, building our own games and our own learning experiences based on game thinking and game design. The whole entire event was designed by Dr. Carl Kopp, Kevin Thorne, and Debbie Thomas. I was one of millions of people that saw a viral video go by a couple years ago about this really cool uh, vacation resort outside of Orlando. And it's a giant game house, 15,000 square foot house with 15 rooms, 10 acres, and everything is themed after a game. The house is a game. This is the lobby, or the main common area. Look down the hall that way, sort of some, some bedrooms down there. We'll show you those in a little while. We've got the theater, big Jumanji theater. Backside, and on this side, we've got some more of the common area. With and we had talked about this before, about how difficult it is to get everything you need to know uh, to design, go through the design process, but folks having difficulty actually having an opportunity to apply what they've learned. So we thought, why don't we put a week-long event together, take my visual storytelling and comics kind of design process, take the game design process, mash them together in one big week-long event, and let's live inside a big game house while we do it. And the first thing I thought of was Carl. Right. So one day, uh, Kevin uh, Thorne came to me with this crazy idea and said, Carl, I found this really cool house. It's all kinds of games. And wouldn't you love to come and like spend a week there and we could do a workshop and we could create games and do visuals and you know do Lego and all that cool stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, a house filled with games? I'm there. So uh, that's really kind of how it started. And then Kevin's like, oh, I was talking to Deborah, And I'm like, oh, I know Deborah. She's awesome. Let's have her involved. So all three of us got involved. And now we're, uh, you know, kind of trying to pioneer a new kind of concept and getting people together to think about experience design, game design, and visual thinking so that people can kind of expand their minds and what they think about learning and development. My favorite part was seeing what, what they built. At, you know, and today we play tested some games. So, but they've been building things all week. They've uh, built Lego models that kind of describe their game ideas, for instance, uh, or business problems they were solving. Read the scenario. Based on the scenario, you're going to pick the action card okay. that is the most appropriate response okay. for responding to that scenario. So that scenario. Okay. But to validate your choice, you're going to have to role play with your other player, okay? okay? And, and as the servant leader, I'm going to assess how well you role play. And it's gonna have a booklet that uh, describes how to play the game. So they walk through, start from start to finish, how to create a game. They got all the design theory, game design theory, day one. So the first thing we need to do is come up with our learning objective and our game goals. And then think about what core dynamic you wanna use for your card game. And we just went through the process and they, uh, you know, some of them I don't think thought they could do it. And everybody ended up with a game that was incredible. And, I mean, really fun. We were, were cracking up today trying to play these games. Well, he said, you know, would you get the idea? So, yeah. <laughs> so then I, <laughs> so we go through the role play. No, a Our expectation, or my expectation really was that a group of people would get together and we would work on common problems and concepts and kind of work through the design process in the backdrop of like a really interesting kind of unique place. And it turns out that's really what happened. You know, people were, you know, we had an evening where we went into the clue room, which was an escape room. One night we went up to the room that had Lego in it. We had these giant Lego bricks and we created this step away. And so it was a really great atmosphere for people to just kind of let loose a little bit and let the creative juices kind of get going and think about, oh, well, if I didn't have any kind of constraints of every day, what could I create? What could I make? What could I think about? And that's kind of 
what happened and that was that was our expectation it, it turned out a lot better than we thought you know in terms of the camaraderie in terms of you know uh, we joke all week about nobody wearing shoes you know that kind of stuff so it was a really good time you know this place is incredible I wish we could stay here another week and actually play a lot of, we didn't even get to play a lot of the games which is why we can't wait to come back Wow, that's pretty cool, right? So we've got a lot of work left to do. I'm gonna get back to it. They're still learning a lot. I don't wanna miss anything else, but I just had to talk, stop and take a moment and share with you guys the fantastic event called stepaway.design. You guys have to stay connected with these folks and be sure to try and join us next year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks so much. I'm Brent Schlenker from the US. Back to you guys.